It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1571, recorded Thursday, May 19th, 2016. Grills just want to have fun. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we have a barbecue filled episode, so you better throw some lighter fluid onto that grill, cause we're gonna get grilling. All next on the Giz Whiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Yeah. Now it is time for the Gizwiz, and here he is, the maestro of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing fine, sir, and you? Doing great, doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, this last week, I don't, I, I've, I may have said this, but I am doing this huge project, and I'm uh, winding down. But this whole week has still, it's been wake up, tr- work on editing videos. Get a few videos done per day. I can only like my maximum is like three videos per day. Send those out. Be done with it. I mean, it's just been, it has been crazy. So, uh, whew. yeah. So that's what I've been doing this last week is work, work, work. What about you? Oh, okay. Well, the same. I have. Uh, I had a uh, a big story due for Mad, and uh, I handed it in. I had a few rewrites. And those are in, and I think I have an okay. So, as of yesterday, I can now start thinking about the. Gosh, I guess uh, we'll be thinking about the September October issue now. Wow! So yeah, we work we work far far. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yikes! October. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, Med Med's only bi monthly now, right. so it it goes it goes fast. Uh, and then editing, uh, you know, the mini videos for the Giz Whiz, which is always great fun. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I've always and it's so of... funny. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, it, it's so funny because they're shooting a movie on the next block. <laughs> and they, I don't, I, to tell you the truth, I don't even know where they're shooting the movie, but they have taken over five city blocks wow. of, tr- of trucks. Oh my gosh! It's a big, Just, big deal. It sounds like everything they were they were shooting a Law and Order down at the marina, and <clears throat> they used my boat in it, which ended up not being in it. And they had food services there with every kind of sandwich and fruit and sodas. And it turned out that the shoot down there was about a minute and a half of, <laughs> of video. And oh, I'm thinking, my gosh. You're thinking, how, how inefficient is this process? No wonder. But the amazing thing was, uh, uh, I said to the, 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 the director, said, clear the docks, clear the docks. So I, I said to a, a small number of people, I said, you know, I, I can take five people can sit on the back of this boat and – they told me they're just shooting the bow. And a couple of people got on with iPads. And it turns out that they display the video that the camera is seeing to everybody who has an iPad. Wow. I know. And the guy said, Talk about uh, he intro- nice communication. Yes. And he introduced himself. He said, I'm the writer uh, of this particular series. And I said, they let the writer come to the to the filming or the videotaping. I said that's so rare, and he said, "Yeah." He said, "On Law and Order, if you want to, you can be on set." So it was quite fun. So I was able yeah, to. Yeah, normally actually, that's like a. Oh, you wrote it. You sent it in. Okay, your job's done. Exactly. Go on now. Exactly, to right. you, we'll, you to, we'll fix it if as we, yeah, we see fit. Exactly. If we need another script, uh, we'll put in an order, and we'll place an order for another one. Thanks. Exactly. I yeah. I Interesting. Yeah. That's that's really cool. I, you you know I, I remember back when I lived in Austin going to film festivals and how they were talking about how much the digital revolution was going to change the film industry. And there's so many parts of it that have changed that don't that don't even uh, that never occurred 
to me that that it would change like having everyone having a display to see whatever the camera is recording uh that's crazy i mean yeah it, 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 it's uh, amazing yeah it really is it's it's funny just holding every once in a while whenever i'm holding an ipad you just kind of realize how thin it is and that just a few years ago just a screen being that thin not an entire tablet computer but just the screen being that thin would have been an accomplishment and now you have the internals the battery the the sensors for the touch screen i mean just absolutely everything built in uh yeah no it's a, you know that down at my boat i i have not, not even made anymore something called uh belkins at tv and i used to pay sixty dollars a month to have cable on my boat and now I have a little boat, so I just use a little seven-inch uh, Samsung Note with Belkin at TV on it, and I watch my cable box from home on my boat. And I and I I say, you know, if someone from forty years ago came down here and I said, this is my TV, and showed him how thin that was, and that I was actually broadcasting getting the picture from my house they would think how could this possibly i know be you would have thought you thought this is star trek i mean this is yes act, i mean i i really think about that all the time they had those communicator things the the uh, data pads and i think about that all the time is this is exactly what that data pad was exactly how thin it is exactly how portable it is except i have it now i have it everywhere and it does more like those data pads seemed so two-dimensional and these seem like they could do anything i mean it's yeah absolutely yeah. it's absolutely. amazing yeah very cool technology come a long way and uh it's sound it's so much more multifunctional i think that's what i was getting at is it's so much more multifunctional than anybody ever guessed because at those conventions i remember them talking about uh uh simple things like being being able to delete footage right there on set and not having to process it later you know and, yeah. and now you know there's all this other stuff of convenience and and you know communication and and working on projects with lots of team members and stuff like that that no one ever expected and no one was ever talking about back in those days uh wasn't expected at all yeah so. you know 15 years ago you and i would be doing this in a garage and three people would be watching, and now we are annoying people around the world. All over the globe. All fact. over the globe. People yeah. are saying, why are we watching this? Yeah, yeah, very yeah. cool. So that let's get technology. in some gadgets, I guess, now. Let's do some gadgets. Okay, so this is our all-grilling, all-barbecuing show. I know that's your theme. Woohoo! yeah. So at the hardware show, I thought, you know what? I'll just get three barbecue gadgets, and then we can have a theme. Uh, our first, I think this might be our first theme night where everything, the, uh, the all four of the first gadgets, are in the same category: barbecue and grilling. Uh, I, I start at under ten dollars, and then go up to a very high figure. And later, when I show gadget three, I'll have people in the chat room as the. Uh, commercial unrolls and tells you the features people can guess <laughs> what they think this uh barbecue backyard thing cost but first starting out with a real cheapy so let's go to the national hardware show Dickie Bartolo, Maz Madest writer and the gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv still at the hardware show Unfortunately, people put out bowls of candy, but I got to tell you, this was the worst charcoal candy anywhere. Dick, that's not candy. What is it? It's alderwood lump charcoal in an alderwood tree. It's an all-wood burning grill. And, and how do you use it? Well, if you're camping and you uh, want to go uh, to the beach or the woods or wherever, you just light the middle of it. It's got linseed oil. It's an alderwood tree with alderwood charcoal right in the middle of it. And you have an alderwood flavors, which is the most popular flavor for smoking salmon. So the, the whole thing is your barbecue pit? This is actually the grill. It's an all-wood grill. It's environmentally safe because it's, it's, it's from ashes to ashes, dust to dust. It's better than just regular charcoal. So when you're done 
you'll actually leave nothing behind. It'll burn away to dust, and it's actually a better fertilizer for the forest floor. Oh, that's great. And, and what does this retail for? The mediums retail for $9.99, and the larges retail for $11.99. $11.99. This is the lodge. This is just tilt it up so we can see what it looks like. So this is Bernie. The Bernie Grill. It's a, just one wrapper. And it's convenient, clean, lightweight. Three pounds for the medium one, five pounds for the large one. You get an hour and a half burn out of the medium one, two and a half hour burn out of the large. It fits inside any Weber, and it's compact. It'll fit in your backpack. You could take it anywhere. So. Okay, so no fire starter, no nothing. And when you're done, uh, as it says, it's zero waste. Let's walk over here. We just lit this. Uh, just one before you said about something about candy. <laughs> And within 20 minutes, you'll be able to put a grate right on top of this, or you could drop it inside of a Weber, and you'll be cooking in for an hour, mostly. That is really neat. Now, is this uh, out now? It's in certain stores, uh, the Harris Teeters, and um, we're, work we're embarking on it. We just launched it a year ago. Okay, very good. Uh, and your website is? BernieGrill.com. And Bernie spelled B-U-R-N-I-E.com. BernieGrill.com. Look out for the Bernie bus while you're <laughs> driving down the highway. The Bernie bus. <laughs> Dick DiBartolo, Mads Medist writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at Gizwiz.tv. Uh, I'm going to find some hamburger meat and we're going to grill. I'm not leaving until I have a burger. Bye. <laughs> Maybe uh, grill off some candies uh, while you're at it. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> So it's a grill that like burns itself out. That it's a grill that it grills itself, uh, which is that uh, is correct. Interesting. That, uh, although I never heard of Alderwood, have you? I have not actually heard of Alderwood okay. either. Oh, I didn't okay. know that it was so popular uh, for semen the, cooking. Well, you know, maybe there's, it's not so popular because they've used all the Alderwood trees to make these barbecues. The, the Bernie bar self burn barbecues. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I I. Yeah, Alderwood. At chat room, anybody use Alderwood or yeah, know anybody Alderwood excited is? about Alderwood? Oh, uh, so I have. Someone says I have. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like says. Elderwood. And we're burning down the oldest trees in the forest uh, for <laughs> for our uh, our. You know, it's funny. I went to I uh, at one of my gadgets. I had to go buy some wood at the store, and they have so many different varieties. I didn't even know. I just needed normal firewood just to show off uh, my gadget. But they had oak and hickory and... Wait I mean, a minute. You're in Texas and you still have to buy? Well... Are, aren't yeah. there forests around? I guess not. <laughs> Just going to a forest. I'll try, this tree looks good. Uh, you know, I might have been able to do that. You know, rustle up some brush. But I was already at the store and they just oh, okay. have bundles, okay. you know, bundles of wood. Okay. Well, you know, I have no place to barbecue, but I, I thought this was a clever idea because that, that little centerpiece is uh, dumped in, I think he said, linseed oil. Right. So basically, you just strike one match or two matches, and that starts, and then it slowly sets the whole thing up. And, you know, it's a little higher than he said. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at their website. He said the little one was... Nine, nine, nine. nine oh, yeah. I and the medium was... Oh, okay. So they're showing it a little bit higher. Yeah. It's also possible that it's cheaper at stores because I asked somebody else um, about a, a, an object there. And he said, you know what? It, we used the highest price, the highest selling price on our website. So that if someone wants to sell it cheaper, they can, but they don't, we always have to show the highest price. Otherwise, retailers get upset right. if we're selling it for less than they are. Right. So. What an interesting also uh, uh, way to cut the wood to make sure that you have air airflow. Uh, yeah. And then also, like, you know, what do they do with this out, outer, out, you know, inner core that's missing? Is, is that where the charcoal comes from? That seems... Very interesting um, that there, and uh, it's just like that used to be a tree. That it was that, definitely yes. a tree at some point. <laughs> yeah, and, so. and then uh, somewhere in some of the copy it says they're not all going to be exactly the same size because you know we are making these from trees, from actual trees, from actual trees. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, I I like it. I like it too. I thought it was uh, I thought it was clever. 
And, and I like the fact that when you leave, you can leave nothing behind except uh, some ashes. Exactly. Which he said makes good fertilizer. And to be honest, uh, a lot of people don't know how to put together a fire. Even even if you buy the firewood at the store, they don't know exactly how to set logs together. Lighting something in the center and just letting it go is so convenient for so <laughs> many people. So. Uh, I think that's a good uh, a good part of this as well. So. I know. When I was a kid, we used to go to uh, to the country to uh, and on the way up, we would stop at a park in New Jersey where they had barbecue pits, and it was rare that you saw somebody just start a fire without a big commotion. Normally, there were these almost. 50 foot explosion. Yes. When someone shot the like lighter a fluid into it. <laughs> yes. yes, tons of it. An already burning yes. fire with lighter yeah. fluid into yes, the. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you're right. So this is a very controlled burn. Um, all right. So our second cooking solution uses no fuel at all. So let's take a look at that. Oh, sorry. We're going to start twice here. Well, Mads Madness writer in the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Still at the hardware show, and uh, it I, looks like a sun tanning device here. Uh, we're going to find out from, what's your name, sir? Peter. Peter. Yep. Peter, what is this? So this is a high-efficiency solar cooker. can cook a meal for two to three people in about 20 to 30 minutes. Max is out at about a temperature of 550 degrees. Wow. can power through meats, veggies, breads, whatever you'd like, bake, boil, steam, fry. You know what? Where do you put the meat? So actually, the food is contained in the stainless steel cooking tray. We're doing some sugar cookies here today. Uh, so all the mess is in the tray here. When you're ready, you just load the tray up, slide it in, open the reflectors. 20 to 30 minutes, you're reaching that max temperature and cooking. Now, when you say open the reflectors, does this fold up? Yeah. So this actually folds up to be a self-contained system here. The legs fold up as well to make a neat little carrying case. It's seven pounds in total, so it's great for camping, boating, RVing, any type of off-grid living. That is really that neat. And the retail in price? This retails at a 279 price point, available on our website as well as a few other e-commerce websites as well. Okay. Now, so uh, you can do frankfurters and bacon and sausages. Uh, uh, there's another device here. What is this? Yeah, so this uh, unit over here is our, our grill. So it's a larger capacity, uh, family style. Oh, it cooks wow. a meal, two whole roasting chickens in about an hour's time. Max is out at about 550 temperature. It's a slow, gradual raise to that, so it's a little bit of a different style of cooking, but it brings all that food up to that internal temperature. All right, so if I put a couple of burgers in here, how long would they take to cook? So the burgers, probably around 45 minutes to 50 minutes, but the, the meat texture would be a little bit different than a traditional grill. It'd lock in all those juices that might evaporate off at a traditional grill. We also do have the possibility of including a little flavoring in there as well. Okay, and can we see the uh, food capacity tray yeah, on this? Of course. Yeah, this tray here pulls out. It's actually a stainless steel cooking tray here. So the food pan goes right in here. Any amount that you could fit in there, soups, breads, veggies, even meatloafs, slide it in when you're ready. Actually, two of those trays fit in. Open up the reflectors here. This is actually a self-contained unit, so it, it even protects itself from the elements if you're not using it. Opens up, and there's a sundial that helps you orient to the sun. That is really neat. And the retail price on this? This is a five nine 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 retail price. This is amazing. Also, it's great fun talking to Peter because everywhere you walk, people go, oh, be on camera? I don't... Anyway. <laughs> uh, Peter, the website is? GoSunStove.com. GoSunStove.com. Uh, Dick DiBartolo, Mads Madness, writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at Gizwiz.tv. I'm waiting for my pizza. Bye! That seems like a appliance replacement, basically. Uh, at at five hundred ninety nine dollars, I would think that a green ho like a, a house that is made to be green, would basically have that in their backyard. Uh, yes, yes, that is, that is that is it is expensive. It is expensive, and I'm I'm trying to find here uh, when I said it uses no fuel at all. Dale Paco in the chat room says no fuel. <laughs> It's using hydrogen that's 93 million miles away. Exactly. Okay. I should have said I should have said free fuel. Free fuel. Of, there you go. Yeah. It's yeah, like uh, that's yeah. a fusion reaction that it's using as its fuel. Thank you very much. Uh, I do like Scooter X in the chat room mentioned um, that it will cook any uh, tubular shaped f food. Uh, so. <laughs> Well, oh, you know what? Funny. Why? You know, maybe you know about this, or maybe the chat room does. Why is it always? about 500 degrees 
Uh, I think that's the, the temperature of the sun. Um, oh, okay. So, no, so, so whether it's a super hot day or just a sunny day and cool, you still will always hit 500 degrees. I think that's so. That's what I think it is. Yeah, because okay. I think it's the wavelength of the of this. I think it has to do with science, if I, if I was to guess. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize there was a video here. Can we replay this video? That was so perfect. Uh, but, yeah. So, um I mean, the sun is, what, 2,000 degrees, something like that, um, is, is the uh, temperature of the sun, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Uh, but I, anyway, and also, I haven't, I always thought you, with a solar cooker, you, you laid the meat on, on those fins. I didn't realize you cooked inside a chamber. Yeah, that look, it looks like this is maybe some sort of new, because also, I would assume the chamber would have been clear, but it's black, it looks like, so... It uses it. It is basically absorbing the sun as much as it can and keeping that tube as hot as it can. Yeah. Uh, to create really. I, I mean, they're food. beautiful looking and they're well engineered. I mean, they are pricey, but also it did very well on uh, Amazon. I'm just looking here. Uh, Fifty six people reviewed it, and it's it's sort of on the new side, and it got four point six stars. Yeah. So that's this that's really does deep. seem like I, I mean I, I, when I was in middle school we went to some homes that that had rain collectors and that were made out of you know concrete that used fly ash to make sure that it was uh, you know very par, you know well environmentally friendly I can't talk right now uh, very environmentally <laughs> friendly it seems like this device would be outside and ready to use uh, at that type of home. Yes. Oh my God! Yes. This 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 image right here. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen some. Uh, there's some homes in Alaska and stuff that just don't get electricity. You know that might oh, that be was, yeah okay, that might be great. Yeah. You know that's that sort of situation. Do they so, get? I hope they get sun. I hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> As this poor guy sitting out there going, <laughs> I should have realized we only get sun three days a year. Oh, this is too shady out here. <laughs> that, that's uh, too bad. Too gosh darn. Well, bad, you yeah. know that he could just buy a sun lamp. And exactly. Plug it in okay, and perfect. shine on it. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, I'm there sure. There you go. I'm sure. Perfect solution. Yeah. Interesting. Very cool. So a a sunlit grill, a sun powered grill. Grill. Uh, for from Go Sun, and man, did that guy, man, that guy. Uh, Isn't he a good salesman? He Very was. good salesman. It, and and that's what I was fumfering over. Is you, if someone goes. No, I, I don't. Oh, an on no. camera interview? Carol, can you talk to this guy, Carol? Because it's going to be on camera. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this guy was just uh, 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 like, you know. Yeah, he, it's like, he was yeah. like that guy that was like, hey, we're okay. We got some, uh, some OxyClean. Oh, you just put yes, it on the. Yes, and bam. Exactly. You know, it was like, exactly. May, who knows? Maybe he does one of those. For, he, he might. For he might. They have a specific <laughs> name for that. I forget what it is. That the Pitchman? Yeah, the Pitchman. Yeah. They, they're like. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, great. Very good. Uh, good gadget. Okay. So now our final gadget, and I won't mention the price till the end. And, and chat room, you can post prices uh, as uh, it, it's a commercial. We're gonna skip the first minute and, and five seconds, and there'll be about two and a, two and a half minutes left. So it's a little schmalzy, but in between, you learn all the features of the Napoleon six sixty five barbecue it's actually a beautiful machine and here is that and you can this get it in sepia if you want sepia oh up. yeah oh oh so this is music within minutes of receiving your prestige barbecue as it comes pre-assembled with only minor finishing touches to be made the real difficulty will be deciding which yeah. feature to use first <laughs> the lifties double lined roll top lid retains heat while the interior hood helps to create a convection style of cooking. The massive 1,150 square inch cooking area, eight powerful burners, and the 9.5 millimeter stainless steel wave cooking grids are built to last. Just this music costs an extra thousand dollars. <laughs> yes. Hey, mister, get your hand off my grill. It's stainless. Get your hand off that Feast thing. on gourmet meals you create and savor the time you spend with those you love. The Pro oh, 665. Oh. Uh, how does it? How does it do that? How does it make you sa savor the time? Actually, it's interesting. The I have to no idea. 
However, the easy access drip tray will collect oh, anything that is some, left behind. Some good guesses here. The Pro 665 boasts a commercial quality rotisserie kit for five stars. This seems like something that would be in an episode of Cribs. Be the chef. Create your own dining experience and serve the food that you can oh, so I want, I hope they do the night shot because the, the lighting on this thing is amazing. Oh, God. 1800 degrees. Ideal An 1800 degree side heater. Oh my gosh. And on the other That's side, the side heater. Less than a premium stainless steel shelf with integrated beverage and towel holders and an ice or marinade bucket and cutting board. The unique nightlight control knob gives a future Look at this. Glow, Look at these. While oh my gosh. Easy access to an integrated wood chip smoker tray which is lit by a dedicated gas tube burner. The inside of the grill has been decked out with interior cabinet lights for grilling long into the night. And We're getting some very close ice <laughs> guess. Tray slides in and out for easy access and is hidden behind gentle soft closing doors. Soft long closing doors. All oh my God. Yes. barbecue tools. And, and what I love is if you want, you can turn it into a barbecue. Yeah. Charcoal grill whenever Instead you of using desire. gas or, the unit or propane. is available in natural gas or propane to suit your needs and is protected under the industry-leading President's Limited Lifetime Warranty. Cheers to good times, great food, and close friends. Okay, so Chad, <laughs> your guest. The chat room was, was very good on guesses. Okay, I mean, so... I mean, just looking at the quality of this video, they have a drone shot at the as the very last. I mean, okay, we've had great times. Now bring in the drone for this shot. Here we yes, go. Yes, exactly. I, exactly. I, this has got to be multiple uh, thousands of dollars. I, I, I would almost say that the cost of a car, like, I don't know if I'm going way outrageous, but I would say like, $30,000. Oh, so, oh, okay. No, you're, you're way okay, outraged. Am I, am I okay. okay? Golly. Yeah. Okay, this so is the, like... the chat room guessed from about 2500 to 5000 So this is not their most expensive one. It's the one that I saw at the show. And that one on Amazon is three thousand twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, okay. So I was 10 times off of what it cost. <laughs> right, but still... Right. Oh my gosh, three thousand dollars! There, there for, you go. Yeah, twenty nine, <laughs> uh, three thousand bucks. The reviews but aren't I even mean, like I would. Assume it had to be five stars if I was going to spend that much. There's a two star. There's a few two star reviews. Oh my word! Uh, oh my word! Per, poor workmanship, missing components, and non-responsive customer service is greatly disappointing. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, you know, it's funny. No one gave it four stars. Everybody either, either gave it five stars or a crappier review. It's interesting. So this I can mean, be a, a – you can use wood chips to smoke. You could use – Yes, you can use – yes. And, and, and it's very clever because the wood chip drawer – they put a knob on yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like so the knob, that it like all matches, the others. So it oh matches the rest of the barbecue, and everything is backlit in blue. And uh, wow, anyway, I just I just thought it. What a mother when I of a girl! Saw grill. it on the floor. It it really looked uh, <laughs> interesting. Someone says buyer's remorse. <laughs> And that was not their most expensive. I do believe they have a five thousand dollar version that has yet another separate stainless steel cooker with uh, more goodies uh, attached to it. Oh so, my gosh, yeah. that's insane! I didn't. Yeah. I, I I have not heard of the Napoleon brand, but I also have not been searching for uh, cookers or cooktops. Uh, at no, all, so. no, me, me either. Me uh, either. Wow. Interesting. Very. Uh, that's insane. That's uh, that's quite a grill. Uh, quite a grill. I, 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 I'll have to tell Leo about this. Maybe Mr. Leo Laporte will say, "Oh, oh, I oh, have give three. Me that number. Give yeah, me that number." Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. No. He. Yeah. I need both a wood chip burner, a side griller, as well as a propane or natural gas griller, and throw in the charcoal for free, if you would. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, wow. Exactly. What a exactly. man. Whew. Uh, so, uh, that is the Napoleon. You can find uh, that's uh, that is available on um, Amazon for you there. Amazon? Yeah. 29999. Uh, <laughs> if you want that. 
Okay, so. Well, we're not done with barbecue stuff because now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for. No, you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Uh, Get it. Yeah, someone okay. in the chat room said they have one for forty-five fifty. <sighs> <laughs> what, what does this come? I mean, it has to come with a chef on retainer. I mean, that is insane. It has an extra, it has an extra tray uh, or, or hill, Oh, there's handle. the one, there's the one, there's the one I meant. So oh now you have gosh. two complete cooking. So you could have competing uh, chefs. Yeah, you could do an episode of Iron Chef with this version of the grill all by itself all by oh itself oh my gosh uh it's also a convertible what no i'm just kidding yeah uh, and it comes with four tires and you can actually drive it to the supermarket it says uh, included is the uh chick magnet huh i've, I've never heard of that <laughs> uh accessory that's interesting huh that's right yeah so golly another, fi another 50 bucks for that yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Uh, uh, down there, when you have one of those, you go, uh, you want to come home and see my barbecue? <laughs> Do you want to yeah. see my grill? <laughs> I have two easy slide uh, hinges <laughs> for, yeah. Uh, so, uh, with my crappy corner, uh, we got, this is, I kind of went a little bit further out on a limb here than a grill. This is more for a fire or uh, if you're going to go camping, you know, uh, a campfire. Uh, but this is called Mystical Fire. And uh, in order to show it off, well, I actually... You know what? This is great. After you've done at a campfire, after you've cooked the food... Yeah, you have a And fire. you're sitting around. This sounds great. Yeah, so this is Mystical Fire. Uh, and the idea is that you, you take this packet and you throw it into your fire, packet and all, uh, and it causes really cool uh, colors uh, to erupt out of your fire. So uh, I didn't really want to set up a, a fire ring in my backyard, so uh, I just used the fireplace in my house. So uh, we're actually, I'm going to go uh, show you what it uh, was like. We, I recorded this video uh, with a friend earlier, so uh, let's check that out. Hey guys, so I'm here with the mystical fire. I have a few packets oh on the back that says to use one to three unopened packets. You don't open these up before you throw them in. Right, take this one. So I was trying to set them on the log because I, I, they're filled with some sort of powder. And you can okay. see below, I had tried a few and uh, the powder just kind of fell out once uh, the, the packet sort of okay. caught up. You know, is, is, that a real, is that a real log or is, is that gas those are real. Those are real logs. It's, I'm, I'm, wow. I'm, uh, I'm making it go better with the gas. There's a gas tube at the bottom. Oh, okay. So you can sort of see that blue color. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and I, and I cool. really... And I, I, I could definitely see that if I actually had a grate or something to keep uh, these logs a little bit more together, that this would be a lot more impressive. Than Basically, if, if this was an actual campfire... Oh, that looks good. Yeah, and you could... you could, And there's a lot of extras, so sort of the yellow color is, is coming from the gas. Um, but it, basically, if there was a floor to these logs, it would be able to sit on that and, and cause, I know, a lot more uh, really cool uh, color. Uh, unfortunately, the, just the way that my camp or my fire. So those are the so. mystical mystical fire uh, packets. So yeah, so I I think that they're really nice, and also uh, they weren't crazy expensive. And uh, you get like, gosh, how uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I put four into uh into um, the the fireplace so you get 12 of these mystical fire packets and it said you you could throw you know one to three of these into the fire uh and for eight dollars and uh, 30 cents so oh sorry. That's pretty good yeah eight dollars 30 cents yeah so i thought it was pretty inexpensive and whenever your your family is just around the fire well i would not suggest putting this onto the grill or anything like that uh, but when they're no, hanging I out, did, I just fire. look and it said it said don't use it after you cook. Don't right. cook anything on top of it. Right, and then there's all sorts of caution: harmful if swallowed, and 
Uh, don't do any of that. And I kind of like how you don't have to open it up and sp- and get your hand all. No, all that's the good. You just throw the whole thing in, um, and uh, it causes some some pretty color crazy colors on on the packet. It shows uh, some dark reds, yellows, greens, and blues. And I definitely saw uh, the greens and blues uh, out of uh, the the fire that uh, was in uh, down in my living room. Um, but uh, anyway, I thought that was a, a really cool little thing. And also going, you know, I, I love to camp. And wh- what we normally do is after you eat a meal, you have your paper plate or some napkins and stuff. What do you do with it? You just toss it in the fire because it's, it's going to cause uh, some, some cool flames. And uh, I thought this was just sort of an extra little uh, exciting thing. Super simple, super clean uh, in, in the fact that you don't have to measure out anything it's easy to carry with you whenever you're camping and uh kind of a fun little experiment to throw into uh into the fire so that is no, a I mystical like it. fire uh and, i uh, like it mystical fire mystical oh mystical they're number fire. one selling uh what does it say i guess that's number a fireplace one selling and accessories item number item. one selling okay a fireplace yeah, especially among wizards <laughs> exactly I was wondering, yeah, do ninjas normally uh, use these? Uh, and there's also some pretty good uh, photos on Amazon. Oh, yeah. Of uh, the mystical f- mystical fire. Um, I thought that was, uh, it, it was pretty cool. So that is the mystical fire, uh, which you can get on, on Amazon. And if you need links to any of the things that we talked about, please check out our show notes, gizwiz.tv. Or Gizwizbiz uh, for Dickie D's uh, show notes. So uh, those are there. There's lots of... I, I didn't realize there's so many customer images on, uh, on Amazon. That's uh, uh, quite a lot. So now let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> So what do you got for us this week? And our letter is from Paul Grisbaum. Grisbaum, G-R-I-E-S-B-A-U-M. With some complaints Uh against the Gizwiz. Uh Uh-oh. Let's... I know. Let's watch his video. Paul, here's your video. Uncensored. I aired the first I bought a piece of crap video on Gizwiz number 1382. I was highly critical of a Gizwiz gadget called the Numi Key. Shortly after its airing, I got this message in the mail with the warning. Don't ever be critical of a Gizwiz gadget again. <laughs> Signed, the D. Bartolo family. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, and I got this skeleton delivered to my house with a warning. <laughs> if you want to end up like this skeleton, don't insult the Gizwiz. Oh, gosh. Well, oh. We have some oh, texts. This, this is like a whole production. Sliding in, I've decided to come out. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, gosh. Hello, Dick and Chad. This is Paul from Louisville, Kentucky. And I got this letter from Patreon. <clears throat> and they said, we can provide protection from the D. Bartolo family <laughs> if you become a Patreon supporter of the <laughs> Yeah, that's a perk. However, we can't provide protection from the Chad Johnson family <laughs> because we and associates they can be quite brutal <laughs> well actually this is just a big joke I'm just trying to have some fun and uh, I kind of want to start out by explaining that beginning uh, I think to date I am the only person who's ever had a gadget warehouse video, video critical of anything from the Gizwiz. And in episode 1382, I had a little uh, video of this Numi key. 
This is probably the worst gadget that I've ever bought. <laughs> oh, it's so God. bad I can't even find it on eBay. Oh no! Or Amazon, and I bought it about four years ago. Uh, so just don't buy this. <laughs> just don't buy this at all if you do find it. Uh, but in the past, I have found some things from the Gizwiz that I really like. And most recently, I bought this Fosta Pasta. Oh, the Fosta Pasta. It's a spaghetti oh. cooker. And I, I really like it. It cooks spaghetti really well, and it's easy to use. But there's one funny thing about it is when uh, Dick showed this on one of the Gizwiz podcasts, he had gloves on when he pulled it out of the microwave oven. Well, I could put this in the microwave for about 15 minutes and pull it out with my bare hands, and it's not hot at all. So I thought that was kind of amusing. It's called the Fosta Pasta. Really like it. And then the other thing that uh, the Gizwiz showed were these pivot head glasses. And they really are fun to use. I got them for about $140 on Amazon. The take good video. And I'm going to, at the very end of this, uh, show a video with my dog Penny Lane. But I do want to warn you, Dick, you may not want to show this to Charlie. Real, I really love the show, and thanks a lot for all of the many fun times. Thank you. Nice. So, uh, well, let's see the doggy oh, video. Oh, oh. Hmm. What's you want some pasta pasta? He's so excited about the pasta. 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 Oh, doggies yeah, love you want pasta. Some pasta pasta. Come on. <laughs> Come on. What's the pasta pasta? He's so excited he can't even What's get the it. Pasta pasta. Oh, oh, oh. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Uh, Okay, Paul, thank you very much. I think, Paul, oh, first of all, uh, Paul ends up by saying, um, I forgot to mention I'm a Patreon supporter of the Gizwiz. All those threats or uh, attempts uh, at comedy, I should leave the comedy to you guys. Well, Paul, that was very funny. Um, yes, the new me thing that he talked about, it, it, I did look it up. It was six years ago. And it was a way, it was a little device that you could scan all your loyalty cards. So, you know, like your gym card right. and your CVS. Right. And, and yeah, then yeah. you could flash that at the scanner instead of carrying cards with you. But since then, as a matter of fact, it, I put a link in there. The company doesn't make the new me anymore but now they make free software which i believe is the software that was in the new me for you to download directly to your phone interesting and, and it's a way to what i liked about the new me as, as at the time was it was not only going to let you put in your your loyalty cards but back then it was going to let you scan all your discount coupons and then you could just run this thing over the scanner and it would find all the coupons for everything you bought. Uh, I, I think... And so how would it work? Would it use its own scanner to scan a barcode and then show it on you the would, screen? You would, you, you would actually go to their website oh. and you would type in the name, you would type in your number and it would find that and, and send it to your new me. But I, I think what, what happened was... It was just when smartphones were suddenly starting to do everything. And so it, it was just the wrong time. It, it came out probably a year later than it should have. Right. So by the time they, I don't even think they got it up and going. I think once they sold Paul his, they figured we stuck. <laughs> we got it. We did it. We, we sold got one. it. We, we sold one. That was it. We got that guy, Paul. We stuck him with one. Now let's start giving this software away for free. We'll show him. <laughs> Trust the Gizwiz. Wow. Um, anyway. <laughs> so, but that was very funny. That was very so funny. That so, Paul, thank you. Uh, we're always looking for more videos. Paul will get an autographed copy of Mad Magazine. 
one of those 38-year-old uh, Alfred E. Newman pictures. Um, I think we have maybe one video left. So if you want to make a video pretty much about anything, okay, uh, two to three minutes, uh, I bought a piece of crap, my gadget warehouse, we love gadget warehouse things. I know you have a piece of junk somewhere that you bought for probably a lot of money and you loved it and now five years later it is absolutely worthless. So make a two to three minute video and show us your gadget. If you remember what you paid for it in a year, you bought it, throw that in there too. And uh, put it on YouTube and put it down as unlisted. Um, and then that way, send us the link and only people with the link will be able to watch your video. You'll see it on the show, but people just roaming through YouTube won't find it. Uh, and our email is mail at gizwiz.tv right there mail at gizwiz.tv and um, do it soon I think uh, we have one possibly two videos left perfect mail at gizwiz.tv and with that (coughs) let's jump into the letter Now, uh, the letter of the week. My wife and I found this gadget at the Lego store in Florida. It is unique. I talked to, I took this short video to show people. Haven't seen it on the Gizwiz. Wondered if you had seen it. We enjoy the Gizwiz. <laughs> More Patreons. Whoa. Uh, Gizwiz patrons, Ken and Marie Kova. Thank K-O-V-A-R. you so much. And this is their video. I've not seen this. And we can talk about it as it runs because it looks like you buy a Lego kit, you walk up to a video screen, and it shows you what your kit will look like when you're finished. Oh, very So watch cool. this and see if you think that's what this is. Yes. I actually, uh, I think oh, it you, was at CES. I haven't seen this in the wild. I haven't seen it actually at a store. But uh, I believe it was at CES that Intel was showing off this technology of the, the rendering. And it, it scans, basically what it's doing is it's looking for the, uh, the image on the front of the box. Once it recognizes that image, it paints the the kit that it builds on top of the box and it uses the uh, like telemetry of how the box is oriented to show that look off. At, look at that thing is flying. Yeah. Right? Oh, there oh it goes. God. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very, I have, I don't think I've ever seen this in a, uh, in a store, but yeah, I mean, that is, it's just the coolest thing too. And it, and it should be in real, uh, uh, real size. Uh, I mean, it's just very, very cool. And you can, if I remember correctly, you could get it really. It, it, it's uh, its software was made so you could get it really close to the camera <laughs> and see some really good detail. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Isn't that neat? I think this is one of the coolest uh, interactive, is... you know, sort of systems I've ever oh, seen. Oh, look at that! That is great. And it animates, and you you can really you know uh, get get some cool wow. imagination uh, out of it, and some inspiration out of it too. I think that is just the coolest thing. That uh, is great, Ken and Marie. Uh, Ken, I assume that was probably your son. Uh, what a great thing that is! That is uh, so chat room, anybody seen that in their own store? I I, I think that's super. Uh, yeah, I seen Dilbert says uh, they have one in downtown Disney in L.A. Too bad you're still not in L.A., Chad, Gilbert <laughs> says. Uh, you moved. Oh, Chad, you moved just at the I wrong know. time. I know. I could. You I, could have taken your. You could have taken that fireplace thing, walked up to a monitor, and you could have seen what the, what it what did. the fire would have looked like. I wouldn't have had to go out and buy that wood. Uh, yeah. What oh was I God. thinking? Moving. Gosh. <laughs> I love her saying, well, then why buy the toy? 
just show the box. Just bring the box to the to the. Look, uh, mom, I made it. Just take a photo of it, uh, a selfie, <laughs> and then uh, you'll prove everyone that you made it. And you have so many Legos. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, uh, yeah that is a. Uh, it's a. That's very, very, very cool. So that is clever. I know that. Um, I think it's Hasbro has one where you can. It, it's like a, a a mashup game. You it it takes. Weird character, like you can take Homer Simpson characters, put them on this little ring. It's supposed to be like a teleporter, mm-hmm. and then pick out a video game and insert Homer into the video game where he doesn't belong. Oh yes, and then, yes. Uh, it's that, all that stuff is so clever. Yes, I mean Lego has been doing. Also, I'm impressed with the company Lego. I mean they have so many. Uh, really good properties. They have movies now, and they also have video games, along with the normal Lego sets. Uh, yes. And they've just started a new thing called, I think it's Lego Universe, or Lego... Uh, it's a video game where basically you can buy Lego sets and add pieces to your game. Oh, gosh, what is that thing called? I forget what it... Uh, I haven't ever used it, but I've I've seen it. Lego Dimensions. You know, you know, there you go. Yes, yes. You know what? I think I saw Lego Dimensions at a uh, like a Pepcom event. There was one where you could actually build. Uh, it was an electronic foundation, and you you build Legos on it, and then you held it up in front of your webcam, and it recognized the shape of the the uh, base that you were using, and then it photographed the bricks that you. You how you had built them and it put them into a city. Yeah, I, it, I, I, this is just so impressive to me that uh, they, that's the game I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow, uh, I, there's so much. I, I mean, I'm just really impressed with uh, Lego as a. You know the a yeah the one thing that's not I, I'm not crazy about is the new Legos for dinner. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. You know everything, no matter what you get. It it tastes lumpy, yeah. you know the Lego. A, spig- a little bricky, you know. A little bricky. I yeah. yeah. If you I had to describe the spaghetti, I would say it yeah. was bricky. Uh, yeah. And the no. and the meatballs were brickier. <laughs> <laughs> they call that uh, product the build your own pasta. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I love that set of no, uh, I don't like Lego yeah. material. Yeah. How many people for dinner, Mom? <laughs> Ten. Yeah. Uh, bring in another set of. Uh, Food if I could get some more uh, two by two uh, bricks, uh, that'd be great. Uh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> those edible Legos. Uh, they didn't. Yeah. Haven't gone very far. I haven't seen much coverage. Yeah. Uh, so in submarine the media. sandwich with a real submarine. It does. It just doesn't work. Something's yeah. wrong there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's really cool. A great use yeah. of uh, technology inside of a store. Absolutely, Ken really? and Marie. Thank you, and Son. Whoever whoever was the box person. Right. Thank you. The model. The, the Lego the model, model there. Lego model. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've come to the part of the show where we love to thank our patrons. So many patrons this episode. That is insane. Thank you so, 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 so much for your support of the Gizwiz uh, over on Patreon.com. That's where our, uh, our little, uh, our humble Patreon page uh, lives. Patreon is a platform for you to support independent content creators like ourselves and uh, it, we have some goals on uh, things that we, if, if we hit them, what we might do. And it's also just uh, uh, a really cool place where we can also share our upcoming ideas. And, you know, I put a poll up every single month about what the next gadget will be. It's absolutely fantastic. So thank you guys for supporting the show. And if you have the inkling... Patreon.com slash Gizwiz is the place to support our little show. Uh, you can watch the show live. We, we have been live on the same Thursday at the same time for like two weeks in a row now. It's great. Yeah, it's going to be even like more weeks in a oh row. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. So uh, Thursday at uh, 4.30 Pacific time, that's 7.30 Eastern time. Uh, and, and at gizwiz.tv is where we are live. Uh, if you don't catch the show live, no problems. You can head on over to gizwiz.tv and download 
a previous episode. We keep them all archived there for you uh, so you can check it out. Also, if you want to uh, subscribe, there's, uh, there's links to iTunes uh, for HD, SD, or audio, uh, and also in a, a YouTube link as well. So that is where our little show lives. Also, if uh, you don't want to support on Patreon and you just want to give a one-time donation on PayPal, we accept that too. You can hit the Patreon link on the Gizwiz site, and then right under there is uh, right above the producers list where everyone is listed who supports. Uh, there is a link to PayPal. So big, 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 big thanks to anyone who supports the show. Uh, don't forget about what the heck is it. Head on over to gizwiz.biz for your chance uh, to guess what the heck is this gadget that Dick has up on his website right now. Hmm. Uh, this is obviously the upgraded version of the Fosta Pasta. Uh, this <laughs> uses your own trash can uh, as the reservoir for the pasta, allowing you to create large uh, portions of food for an entire party in uh, just one trash can. You just uh, slap, that, slap that right on the top of the trash can uh, and make some pasta. Uh, if uh, you have a better idea on what this is, you can guess over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, gizwizbiz at AOL.com is the place where you send in your suggestions. There's 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers if you actually know what it is, but double the Mad Magazines, 24. And normally, Dick gives away a few extra uh, for cute, hilarious, funny, clever, and creative answers. So get a guess in and get your signed copy of uh, the next issue of Mad Magazine. Uh, that is over, once again, at gizwiz.biz. I'm going to remind you one more time, don't forget to send in your videos. Mail at gizwiz.tv is a place to send in your gadget warehouse videos and also your letters and everything like that. So uh, please keep the videos flowing. Thank you so much. And uh, I think that wraps it up for this grilling episode of the Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>